Hey, I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's go old school Texan and make a King Ranch casserole. Most of y'all come to Meat Church because you want to learn barbecue or want me to show you how I cook outside. Today is all about comfort food. It's extremely easy and very delicious. The first time I made King Ranch casserole for my family, 100% of the people in the house were like, why haven't you been making this more often? So what is it? Nobody knows the exact origin of it. It is Texan, became very popular in the 50s after World War II uh, because there's canned soup in it. It actually is not related to the King Ranch, a ranch bigger than the state of Rhode Island. Um, it, there's rumored that maybe it comes from the Mexican dish uh, chilequiles uh, because it's similar. But the one thing is every household has its own variant. Uh, my buddy Dean Faring, the godfather of Southwestern cuisine, says that everybody has their own variant of it. So there's lots of little nuances. But today, I'm gonna make you a recipe that comes from my good buddy, Aaron Lane. I've known Aaron for a long time in the music business. We met when he was the tour manager for Turnpike Troubadours. Then he went and tour managed Robert Earl Keen. Um, and now he's up for like a big award, uh, being the front of house god for Morgan Wallen. So Aaron can cook his ass off. And when he made this dish, I saw on Instagram, he said it was his mom's recipe. I reached out and asked if I could make his because I like sharing my friend's stuff if they're willing when it's delicious. And let me tell you, um, Aaron's mama knows how to cook because this is super, super delicious. It's gonna be really easy. You put this thing together in just a few minutes, it cooks for 40 minutes and your family's gonna be eating. So it's great during the week. You can make this in an oven. We're gonna cook it outside. Let's jump in. So I've started out with three big chicken breasts. I seasoned them with our holy gospel and I simply grilled them. Uh, you could do this on a flat top, uh, but I just went ahead and grilled them real quick. So we're starting out with that and I've got them here on this block. I need to chop these up, they've cooled off. I butterflied them, which is why they look thin. And I just grilled them till they were done. Uh, so I'm gonna chop these up real quick. That's gonna be the base of what we're making. I'm just using a bench scraper, do it however you like. You can shred it if you want. I'm just gonna chop it up. the chicken's all chopped up, let's get into the rest of the ingredients. Um, I've also taken one large sweet onion and two jalapenos, diced them up and sauteed them, and that's what I have right here in the skillet. Um, jalapenos, seeds removed, it's not too hot, so depending on your preference for heat, you could drop down to, uh, you could use poblanos, uh, you could use bell peppers, but I like jalapenos and this will not be hot. Then I've got uh, one pound of shredded cheese that I shredded freshly myself. And then for the canned ingredients, one can of Rotel, two cans of cream mushroom, and two cans of cream jalapeno. This again is Aaron's recipe. Um, if you can't find cream of jalapeno, you can use cream of whatever you want. I love jalapeno and poblano in it personally, but you can use cream of chicken. Anything you want is gonna be great. And then we're gonna put a little bit of our chili seasoning on it. Um, if you don't have chili seasoning, uh, you can just kind of use your favorite kind of Southwestern type seasoning. So we're just gonna mix all of this up. Let me scoop the chicken over. Get you a big bowl. Get it all mixed up. One tablespoon of Meat Church Texas chili seasoning. Crushed Doritos. It's common to see Fritos and corn chips and things like that in it. Some people just use soft tortillas, but we're gonna mix up some Doritos. And hey, they're made in Texas. So it's still very Texan. All right, let's get this mixed up. All right, 
That looks really good. So pretty simple from here. Get a little pan out. Like I said earlier, a lot of people use uh, flour tortillas. This recipe calls for tostadas, which I actually like. So I'm gonna layer this pan with six tostadas. I'm gonna pour the mix in, probably about half of it. And then I'm gonna do six more tostadas and do it again. So layering it like a lasagna. Not nearly as thick, depending on the size of your dish. And then we're gonna to top it with more cheese. Looks awesome. So you can, you know, I always tell you guys, grade your own cheese. Uh, using the bag cheese, it's lazy. Melts better, tastes better when you do it this way. This is a medium cheddar. Use whatever you want. Use however much you want, but I like a lot. Uh, I'm gonna shred it all on here. And then let's talk about cooking while I'm doing that. Make it nice and simple. So this is easy. It's 350 at like 40, 45 minutes. Um, if you're doing it inside, you could certainly turn on the broiler at the end um, if you want to, but it's not completely necessary. Uh, we're cooking on a Traeger Timberline with hickory pellets, just an all-purpose pellet. You can pretty much use whatever you want. And, uh, and it'll be delicious. Everything tastes better when it's cooked outside, plus it's more fun. But if you don't have something to cook outside with, or if it's super cold where you're at, throw it in your oven. All right, it looks really good. I'm going to throw it in the Traeger, and I'll check back in with you guys in about 40 minutes. All right, y'all, it's been right at 40 minutes, so let's see how we're doing. Whoo! Bubbly deliciousness. God, it looks awesome. Smells amazing too. Uh, obviously this is super atomic, uh, so I'm gonna let this cool off and then let's dig in because it's lunchtime and I'm starving. I've let it cool off a little bit, probably not enough, uh, but you know, live dangerously. So let's get, get a big old scoop out here. Shout out to my man Aaron for letting me use his recipe. And while I'm doing this, you know, I always say, make my recipes or Aaron's recipe in this case your own. Uh, my, you know, I say this in my barbecue schools, my recipe isn't necessarily the right way. It's just a way that I know is delicious for me and something I've done and tried. Again, I'm not here for clicks. I'm here to show you how to make really good food. But if you want to change something up, have at it. Dang, looks awesome. I mean, let me tell you, this just smells Southwestern, if that makes any sense. But get down here and get all kinds of, get tostada cheese. I can see the Rotel in there, a little jalapeno. Here we go. That's so freaking good. Man, that is Southwestern comfort food at its finest. I ain't mad at it in the least bit. You'll have to make this. This is super duper simple. It's store-bought ingredients. It comes together really quickly. Cook it. This is an easy weeknight meal. My dog knows what's up. She's over here wanting a bite right now. You guys have to make this. I'll tell you, taking my family on a much needed vacation uh, this next week. I've run them ragged with all the events and cooking we've done this year. So we're gonna be down for a week on our videos. So in the meantime, you can rewind and enjoy our library of 206 videos that we've already got out there. Uh, you guys can check that out next week. And I promise as soon as I'm back from Colorado, I'll jump back out here in the outdoor kitchen and we'll be filming again. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat Aaron's Mama's King Ranch casserole because it's dang good. See y'all in two weeks.